Hi, welcome to this recording of SAP Data Warehouse Cloud focusing on the integration of HANA Data Lake with Data Warehouse Cloud. My name is Axel Meyer and I'm happy to walk you through this recording. I'm logged in into Data Warehouse Cloud with the HANA Data Lake enabled to be accessed from the application. Let's get started within space management. I do have a space prepared with the name Data Lake. And once I navigate down to the space management, you can identify a new checkbox to indicate that this space should be assigned to the Data Lake component. Once you navigate down to the database XX area, which has been redesigned within the recent versions of Data Warehouse Cloud, you do see the option to create a new database user, which is referring to the OpenSQL schema we used to have in the previous versions. So once you create a new database user, we are creating an OpenSQL schema because of of course, a database user is mapped to a database schema, which is from the previous versions an open SQL schema. In this case, I already created a database user called data lake hash HC with different privileges like data ingestion enabled and also data consumption enabled. HDI consumption is of no value within this scenario, so that's why it's disabled. For this scenario, it would have been sufficient to only focus on data ingestion, but we also have data consumption enabled in this case. As the status is active, we do have the ability to check the user and start the Database Explorer, which now comes pre-integrated with Data Warehouse Cloud. Let's get the Database Explorer started in our environment. We're now logged on into Database Explorer with the database schema already visible and connected using the hostname the port, the user, and the password we created on the previous step. Our intention right now is to create and run the SQL statements to create a table within the HANA data lake as a first step. As a second step, we want to create a HANA virtual table pointing to the HANA data lake table. And as a third step, we want to load data into the HANA data lake table. For the data loading, we're executing a statement to have a local load from the HANA data lake. So we are not loading the data from a HANA perspective. We're directly loading the data into the HANA data lake table. And step number four would be to um, run a quick count star on how many records have been loaded to the according table. And we're using the virtual table from the HANA perspective to run the count. So let's get started to create the HANA data lake table. There's a certain notification in here. So a function called data lake execute within the data warehouse cloud global schema. And once you have this, um, this option, you can bring in the DDL statement to create the table, which has been successfully completed. As a second step, we're going to create the HANA virtual table pointing to the HANA data lake table. And we are creating a virtual table name from the HANA perspective. All right, so we're done now. So we, ha we do have a table created in the HANA data lake. We do have the according virtual table created, which gets us the access from the HANA perspective. And step number four would be to load data into the HANA data lake table. And we're loading the data straight on the HANA data lake, so no interaction from a HANA cloud perspective. We do have a certain statement. Um, you can read it on the screen to load the table. And we're using the option to load data from a file which is located on an S3 bucket. So again, 
We'll execute in the statement. Now the data gets loaded straight into the HANA data lake table and it has been successfully completed. So let us run a quick count star to validate the number of records being loaded. Let's switch back to SAP Data Warehouse Cloud for further modeling and accessing the data from the HANA data lake component and integrating with some data coming from an S4 system. Let's go down to the data builder to create the according view. Again, I'm selecting my space data lake and let's navigate forward to create a graphical view to combine the data set coming from the connected systems of my space, which is an S4 system in this case, so it's an S4 HANA system. And within here, I do have an extractor created, which is um, of type CDS view. And once we navigate down to the section to filter on the according view, it's about the purchase order analytics view. So we'll pick and choose the view, let it get imported to create the remote table to point to the CDS view on the S4 system. The next topic would be to connect to the open SQL schema, like the database user we created early on, to connect to the virtual table we created on the previous steps on the Database Explorer environment. So let's join the two data sets and where we also need to specify the joint condition, which is material number in this case. All right, as we're done here, we can run a quick preview on the data set to validate if data integration on the joint condition makes sense from a qu quick preview perspective. So here we do see the information coming from the S4 system and the message information is coming from the sensor information we do have loaded into the data lake environment. So we have message information integrated with um, purchase order information coming from an S4 system. Let's specify the view type of analytical data set because we want to leverage this data set for usage and connection from an SSC perspective. And we'll leverage a name like purchase order material sensor data. Last step is to assign the according measures to the set. Let's give it a moment to assign the according measures. And once we're done, let's save and activate the view. All right. Once the view has been successfully deployed to the system, which, will, might, which might take a moment to update, we do have the ability again to run a quick preview to visualize the data. All right. Deployment takes a moment at this point in time. So we let, we simply let it go and wait until it completes. Now, the view deployment has been successfully completed. Let's move on and create a story we'd like to leverage to connect to the view we simply created. I do have a story prepared which connects to the analytic data set. And now we do have the ability to visualize and navigate on the data where we're integrating data coming from an S4 
HANA system and also integrating with data located in the HANA data lake, focusing on sensor data where we, are, where we do have the ability to have a combined view from an SSE story perspective to validate also the error information, like sensor error information we were loading into the HANA data lake in a combined view with data coming from the S4 HANA environment to focus on S4, mater S4 HANA material sensor data analysis. Thank you for watching this recording.